Hi everyone, Konnichiwa. Thank you very much for watching Prana Channel. This is Easy Kanji and Ho number seven. Easy Kanji and Ho number seven. We are going to see four kanjis today. Kizuki, Yongo, Gamote, Mengo, Shimasho. Okay, please don't look at the board here. This is the first kanji today. To means a question in English. To is a question, and question is to, questioning or to. Okay, so in English, to is question. To is question. And in hiragana form, to. To with u, okay, to. And in Roman form, to. I think you're okay with that, to. And this kanji seems a little bit complicated, but this is how to remember the kanji to, okay? And to, this part is a gate, okay? This part means a gate, gate at the entrance, okay? So, to, questioning is you're at the gate questioning with your mouth with your mouth it seems like a uh, little bit seems like someone's face but you know you're questioning uh, excuse me is it mr yamada or something like that is it mr yamada with your mouth questioning so this picture can be transformed into To, okay, with u. To, question. To, question. I think you're okay with that, okay? Then switch over to number two. Number two, this kanji means kiru. Kiru means a cut, to cut, okay? So in English, to cut, cutting something, okay? Cut is kiru. Kiru is cut, to cut. So, in hiragana form, kiru. And in roman form, kiru. Right? And this kiru, this is how to remember kiru. And consists of two parts, right? You know, if you can, you know, uh, look at, if you can have a close look on this kanji, Left part here means seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this kanji means seven. And right part, this kanji means a sword. Like a samurai sword. So let's imagine that your samurai having a sword, okay, holding a sword and cut something into seven pieces. Cut something into three pieces is kiru, okay? Kiru is cut to cut. And your samurai, Japanese samurai, holding Japanese katana, Japanese sword, okay? And you're cutting something into seven pieces. This is kiru, okay, to cut. I think you're okay with that. And number three, here. This kanji is tori, and tori means a bird. Tori means a bird. So, tori is a bird. I think you'll get is that, bird, okay? And bird is in hiragana form, tori. And in roman form, tori, okay? Tori is a bird. Bird is a tori. Tori, bird. Bird, tori. Okay? And this kanji, again, seems a little bit complicated. But here, you can imagine that, you know, that a bird, a flying over sky. You can see bird flying 
over the sky, okay, in the sky. And this, sorry, I'm not an artist, but you can imagine that, right? This is a bird. Bird transformed into this kanji, tori, okay? Tori is a bird. Bird is a tori, this kanji. Okay, seems a little bit complicated, but hang in there, you can remember that, okay? And the last one, here. Number four, kuro. Kuro is black in English. Black is kuro in English, uh, in Japanese, okay? So, kuro is black. Black is kuro. Kuro is black, okay? And black in hiragana home, Kuro. And in Roman, Kuro. I think you're okay with that. Kuro is black. Black is Kuro. Okay? And how to remember this kanji is, if you have a closed look on this kanji here, you can say this upper part is field. Right? Field. We actually, uh, you know, uh, looked through this kanji at N4 number one. N kanji N4 number one, okay? And it was, it was a bit of reviewing, okay? And here in the middle part, this is field and this is a soil, okay? So, of course, rice field, rice padding field, whatever, you know, under the field, there's a soil. Of course, you can find soil under the field, right? And soil is, if you have a close look on the soil, it's a, a collection, of, collection of dots, like this, right? Dots. So field, soil, it's a dots. It's black, you know, I mean the field, soil, soil is black, right? Most of the case, the soil is black. So this is how to remember kanji kuro, black. Okay, okay, let's imagine, imagine there's a field and there's a soil, you can find a black uh, dot soil, okay? This is how to remember kuro, black, Japanese kanji. Okay, let's review these kanjis today. Number one, to, it's question, question, it's to, okay? You are questioning something, is it Mr. Yamada, Mr. Yamada or something like that at the gate? Okay, this is how to remember kanji to. Okay, and here, kiru. Number two, kiru is, you know, uh, uh, divided into two parts. The left word here, this left part means seven, right? And right part here means a sword. So, so again, you are a Japanese samurai holding up a Japanese sword and cut something into seven pieces. This is kiru, to cut. Okay, kiru, to cut. And number three, here, tori. This is a little bit complicated, but I'm, I'm sure you can do that. I'm sure you can do that, okay? Tori, a bird. Bird is a tori, okay? And tori is exactly like this, tori. Uh, flying in the sky, flying in the sky, and this uh, picture can be transformed into this kanji, tori. Okay, and the last one's kuro. Kuro is black. Black is kuro. Okay? And this is how to remember kanji kuro. You know, if you can have a close look on this kanji, this upper part is a field, right? And the middle part is soil. And under part here is soil's dots. Okay? And soil's dots are, of course, most of the case, it's black, right? So black is field soil dots. Field soil dots. Okay? This is black. All right, then that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and hope you can enjoy learning kanjis. Hikizuki Nihongo, Gamate, Mekyo Shimashou, Arigato Zaimashita.